Does your child have what it takes to be a top mathlete? The Raytheon Company is hosting the nation's top 224 middle school math minds at the Renaissance Hotel in Washington, D.C. The finalists are from across the entire United States competing to earn the 2011 titles of top mathlete and top mathlete team. Joining us from Washington, our executive director of math, Lou DeJoya, and Scott Wu, an eighth grader from Louisiana, and you're actually the top mathlete, right, Scott? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell us about the Raytheon Math Counts National Competition. Tell us what it's about. Um, there are several levels, like the school, the regional, and then the state. And the four, the four top kids from each state go to the national competition. And the national competition has two parts. The first part is the written. Mm -hmm. And all the kids take the, the, this contest, and it consists of several rounds of problems. And the top 12 after this written round go to the countdown round, which is a fast-paced oral round. And the winner of this round is the champion. Okay, now what did you have to do to prepare to get to the finals? You say that there's a written part and an oral part. I know when I grew up I did a math, a math meet and I had to do the oral part and that part to me was the toughest. So how did you train for this? How did you get ready? Um, I have like a lot of old problems. My coach gives them to me so I can practice using the old problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how important do you think this is to middle school students? Um, I think math is very important, like all of the topics related to math, because in the future it will be like very useful like, to keep our environment to continue like growing. And if we don't have like a and strong Luke. basis, uh -huh. <laughs> if we don't have a strong basis in math in middle school, then like we not we might not be able to progress as much later. Absolutely, and Raytheon, of course, uh, big time with the uh, military tools, uh, a big export of that and innovator of that. And so how important is it for these students, Lou, uh, to do well in math? And I know I believe Americans rank about 35th in the country when it comes to math score. So how do competitions like this help and how important is it? Well, like, like you said, uh, you know, the U.S. right now uh, does not rank well uh, compared to other countries when it comes to interest in math and, and scores in math. Uh, and I think programs like Math Counts help uh, raise students' excitement about math. And that's something that we don't see a lot today. There's not a lot of excitement around math, a lot of excitement around other subjects. Uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, with math, math is problem solving. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's something that gets lost uh, on a lot of students. Uh, you know, it's not just you know, the quadratic formula that you're using in class that day and, you know, am I ever going to use this specific formula again? Mm -hmm. uh, it's problem solving. No matter what career you choose, uh, you're going to have to solve problems every day. And the more practice you get at it, the better you get at it, the more successful you'll be. Now, what about timing? Why is middle school the perfect time to teach kids about creative, uh, creative problem solving and get, getting them into that math? Well, uh, there's two reasons. Uh, you know, in the U.S., middle school seems to be the, the age where there seems to uh, be this disparity between the U.S. and other countries when it comes to the interest in uh, and ability uh, in mathematics. Uh, but as Scott referenced before, uh, it's the foundation in middle school math that's going to prepare you uh, for the higher level topics that you'll see in high school and college. So if you don't have the foundation in middle school math, you're not going to be able to, to progress at all uh, any further than that. And like you said, math actually not a priority a lot of times with students. How do we encourage that? How do we get them to get more interested in math at a younger age? Well, you know, I, I think it's uh, they, a lot of it comes from the attitude of, of those around them, whether it's the parents, whether it's the family. You know, you'll hear a lot of uh, parents have no problem saying, you know, I'm terrible at math or I can't do math. Mm -hmm. But you'd never hear those same parents say, well, I can't read or, or reading's not important to me. So, uh, you know, I think we have to have a fundamental shift in the way that uh, our country views math and the importance of math. And once everyone sees that, you know, math is problem solving, it's around us every day, we use it every day, uh, people will see how important it is. And uh, hopefully that, that change in attitude will help get kids more excited about it. And, and, and another question for you, Lou. Uh, a lot of times you think of, of girls being a little bit farther behind uh, compared to boys when it comes to math. Is that still the case now? Was that reflected in this math competition? Uh, well, you know, Scott won, <laughs> so we, we did have a boy win the competition. Uh, you know, but we're lucky at Math Counts, you know, we see it. We have uh, about 50% boys, 50% girls participating in our competitions. So there is certainly no uh, lack of interest on the part of girls, uh, not only in math, but in, in math competition. 
So, you know, I think we need to continue to encourage girls to participate in math. Uh, certainly, math counts is a great way for them to do it. And, uh, you know, for girls or for boys, uh, it's exciting, it's non-routine, and, and hopefully they'll get a lot out of it. Well, that's good to hear that it's 50-50. Hopefully, it's more of an interest thing and we can get those girls more interested. Now, back to you, Scott. How does it feel to be top mathlete nationwide? Uh, it feels really good. I was, like, really excited after the final round. Mm -hmm. I bet you were. Do you know what you want to do whenever you, whenever you grow up and you get out of school? Do you have any ideas yet? Uh, I think I want to be a programmer when I grow up, but there are a lot of careers I can choose. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Math is a good foundation for just about anything. Now, what is Raytheon doing to promote STEM science, uh, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math education at the middle school level, Lou? Well, we're very lucky that, that Raytheon sponsors Math Counts. They're the title sponsor of our event, and it is the Raytheon Math Counts uh, 2011 Math Count, or National Competition. Uh, but, but beyond Math Counts, Raytheon ha has a whole portfolio of STEM programs that they support. Uh, they have a program called Math Moves You, uh, which you can get more information about at mathmovesyou.com, uh, where they, they really uh, put on display the opportunities that are there for students uh, who, who do uh, have that math foundation, and hopefully it'll open their eyes at an early age and it'll uh, make them more educated about what they can do and what they have to do to, to get to where they want to be. Okay. And, Lou, are we overall seeing an improvement? Can you tell an improvement in our country as far as the math scores are concerned? Uh, you know, I, I think there is improvement. Uh, certainly not where we want it to be. I think we still have a long way to go. Uh, but certainly there are definitely signs for encouragement, uh, you know, in, in test scores uh, if you take a look at them. But, uh, you know, a uh, little success now is certainly no, no reason to stop. We still do have, have a long way to go. And, of course, competitions like this certainly helpful to get that interest raised and, of course, uh, get math students up there and be, to be more competitive with other countries. Lou DeJoya and Scott Wu, uh, thanks for being with us. Congratulations again to you, uh, Scott. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, after all of that heavy thinking, nothing like a little comfort food. Nikki's in the kitchen right now getting the lowdown on our guest chef today. Just ahead, we're talking to somebody who knows all about comfort food. At first, stick around.